Hey everybody and welcome to Foundations. Um, today we are going to learn some poses lying on our belly. We're going to learn Sphinx, Cobra, and Locust Pose. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. You don't need any props. We'll just come right onto the belly. There we go. All right, so first up is Sphinx Pose. So for Sphinx Pose, I want to find a nice gentle back bend and a lengthening of the spine. So I have my arms directly out in front of my shoulders like I'm on railroad tracks here, but my elbows are not right under my shoulders at a 90 degree angle. I've got my elbows ahead of my shoulders and you know what? Some people will have them slightly ahead. I like to have a lot of space here and that way I know I'm not cranking up into the lower back but I have a, I've got a nice long spine and uh, it's a nice and gentle back bend. Good. And just lengthen the spine and relax the tops of the shoulders down away from the ears as the neck grows nice and long. Remember the neck is part of the spine too. And once you're there, draw the kneecap slightly up so you're activating the legs. Legs are engaged, nice and strong. Good. We want to keep active legs in all of our back bends today. Sphinx is one of my favorite poses. It's a great pose to kind of just practice before bedtime or as you start your day. Good. So let's move on to our next pose, Cobra. So for Cobra, I'm going to walk my hands back underneath my shoulders and we'll start, I've got my elbows in, tucked into my sides and legs are still active. We're going to start with a nice little baby Cobra. So just a gentle lift here. Good. And you can press up into more of a Cobra pose just as far as feels comfortable. Good. And one way I really like to practice Cobra, just my own variation that I like, is to practice Cobra without my hands on the mat. It's, it's a lot more intense that way, and it really will strengthen the lower back. Good, so let's take a little rest from that. When we're taking rest from these poses, I like to make a little pillow with my hands, and I will lay my head down on my hands, and just soften the leg. Let the body melt down into the mat. And let the breath expand the body. All right, so we just have one last pose today. This is a quick little tutorial today. Quick little yoga lesson. The last pose is Locust Pose or Shalabhasana, which is very fun to say. You should try it. All right, so Shalabhasana. I'm going to, there are so many variations of this pose and I'm going to show you first this one with my arms coming down by my sides and my palms are pressing down into the mat. All right, so my head is already lifted but I am on an in-breath going to also lift my arms and my legs. So go ahead and lift your arms and legs. My thumbs rotate upwards, pointing up at the sky so my palms are facing outwards now. Good. And you can take the legs wider you can bring the legs in, which I find a bit more challenging. Good, and let's bring the hands back down and come back to rest. I'll show you just a couple more versions of this. There are so many ways you can practice this pose, and it's a great pose to practice every day to strengthen all the muscles of the back body, especially these muscles along the spine. It's a great pose to improve your posture. All right, so another version of this pose is interlacing fingers behind the back. In breath, as you lift. Good, opens up the shoulders, opens up the heart space. Another version you could take is arms out ahead like you're Superman. And this next one is one of my favorites. I like to just add a little motion in like I'm swimming. I like this one. It's fun. All right, so let's come back down to rest. 
This is such an important pose and I think it's a great one to practice every day. If you practice every day, just be curious, see how it changes your body. Well, that is it and I will see you next time for another tutorial. Namaste.